Dan Pearson, who is a teacher of electromechanics at Rosemount Technology Center. He's been teaching there for 10 years. Let's start by having you tell people what electromechanics is, because I'm going, hmm, could well, be many things. Automated Systems Electromechanics yeah. is the full title of the course, and that has to do with uh, the installation, repair, and maintenance of machinery that's on a production line. That's why the course was originally uh, put together. What production line? Any production line? Any production line, if it's uh, processing of food, wood products, uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, clothing industry, uh, there's many possibilities. That sounds like it would be a zillion machines and variations of machines. So once you finish your course, you pick what domain you want to go into. If you've had previous experience working in the food industry or something like that, maybe you could uh, bring that to the table when you're looking for a job. So when you leave Rosemount Technology Center, you're capable of fixing uh, machines used in the food industry, used in the automotive industry, any kind of machine that's on any production line? Any machinery uh, needs to be fixed, repaired, maintained, modified. We have the basics when we get out of this course. Once you get into the industry, obviously, we don't have every type of machinery in our school. They'll probably put you through a training process of about uh, three months to a year, mm -hmm. and after that, you could be autonomous. Okay. What are the prerequisites to get into the program at RTC? Secondary four, um, your math skills have to be up to a certain level when you take electromechanics, because mm -hmm. obviously we study some of the physics of electronics, ACDC circuits. There's a little bit of math involved, and I'm going to show you a little demonstration later. Um, it's uh, not uh, a college level, so your English, French, and humanities, like a college program, you're not required to take that. This is a quick year and a half program. You're out and you're ready for work. Tuition is free. Tuition is free. Yeah. Uh, job opportunities. The market, uh, I base this on Emploi Quebec statistics. I'm always referring to them and companies calling our school. I'm basing it on that. There's still companies that call us looking for students who have graduated or maybe would like to go on a stage at their company. Emploi Quebec, I've looked at one job site just yesterday teaching a class of uh, job search techniques. Mm -hmm. uh, there's 154 job positions in Quebec that are listed under the title of electrical mechanical, oh, yeah. which is their field. Okay, so do we do this now? Sure. <laughs> Um, basic little circuit that I have set up here. Uh, this is part of our troubleshooting um, techniques that we uh, learn at school. This is a PLC, a Programmable Logic Controller. This is like the, the Jarvex heart of machinery. So you have inputs and outputs and what makes machinery repeat cycles is based on sensors going in and obviously we can hook up lights to this that would show that it's going through a process. Something like uh, your washing machine at home, you have a rinse cycle, a wash cycle, uh, a load cycle. Um, this is similar, uh, except this one you can modify the program by hooking it up to a computer and change the length of your spin cycle, the length of your wash cycle, etc. So this is in most? Most machinery. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So this one is a brand called uh, Omron, which is popular in North America. Alan Bradley, we explained to the students as well. I put together a small little circuit right here. So. This is a, a 9 volt battery hooked up to a light that you usually find inside of control panels um, in industry. This is a 24 volt um, DC operated light. When you press the green little button mm -hmm. right here, mm -hmm. the light goes on. Mm -hmm. Which proves? Which proves that the switch is working. Okay. Now, if I wanted to see how much amperage was going through, this is volts coming from the a battery, amperage going through the light. I could take a multimeter here. Mm -hmm. Uh, first, I would verify, let's see, if the voltage from the, uh, the little 9-volt battery that we all think is 9 volts mm -hmm. uh, might not be exactly 9 volts. Because it's old? Uh, it could be used, or it could be their production uh, company says, oh, if it's 8-point-something volts, then it would be, uh, and good. there we say it's 7.5 volts on the display. Okay. If I wanted to see what the amperage was, I would have to turn it over to... The milliamp reading here, take one of the probes out and put it on the other side where it says milliamps. So this is like diagnostics. Diagnostics all the time to see troubleshooting is one of the uh, techniques that we have to use a lot of times with older machinery. So now if I want to see how many uh, milliamps are going through this, mm -hmm. the switch is not on but I can bypass the switch with the multimeter and get a display of 2.5, 2 2.6 milliamps. Mm -hmm. And if you notice the light goes on when I touch, so I'm bypassing the switch, you see the little blue light coming on? Mm -hmm. 
So I'm, this is like a jumper that I'm using across the circuit. Okay. So these are some of the words that we use. This is our vocabulary. Yeah. Um, uh, How long is the program? Because this... 1,800 hours, approximately a year and a half. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow, and you get out with the basic, and then if you get hired, generally speaking, the company that hires you will train you. With their equipment, with their, if they have a different uh, PLC, an Allen Bradley or another companies, they'll uh, train you on that. If they have other equipment that they're using, but basic shop, like a multimeter like this, you'll need in a toolbox, you have to know how to use one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll have their own tools uh, and a tool shop as well. Uh, but you're familiar with it because we have welding class, we have machining techniques that we teach you, hydraulics, pneumatics, um, PLC programming, uh, how to write a resume. Mm. So in case it doesn't work out at that job, you know how to look for another one. Yeah. Uh, so ah, things cool. have been good. Dan Pearson is a teacher of uh, automated systems, electromechanics at Rosemount Technology Center. Thank you very much for speaking with us this Thank morning. You.